All right, so um, in the last video, we looked at um, splitting into multiple bundles. So um, in this video, I just wanted to show you how we can set up NPM scripts to one uh, run Webpack um, from our local um, repository as opposed to globally. Um, I'm sorry for um, telling you in the first video not to install that and then I kind of used it. <laughs> but uh, anyways, so um, if we're, if we run Webpack from the terminal like this, right, we're basically running it from our global node modules, but we have it installed locally, right? So how can we use the local version? Um, well, interesting enough, and I did not know this, right? If you go to node modules, uh, let me close this down, you go to node modules, and we have this dot bin folder, right? And in there, we have a Webpack. And this is basically what you need to run the Webpack process, okay? Which is actually really cool. So what we can do is in package.json, right? Um, if you're not familiar with NPM scripts, basically um, in your package.json here in the scripts section, you can basically um, write a whole bunch of scripts that you can just run through node. Okay, so um, the two built-in, well, there's a couple built-in ones, but the main built-in one is called npm start. So um, I'm going to give right start here as the key and the value, okay, is gonna be that file that we just looked at. So that was in node underscore modules in the dot bin directory and it's called webpack. Okay, so let's save that here now if we run npm start what do we get well you know it runs our bundle okay and it does work as you can see and that's awesome um so now you can just run it from there and we know that we're using our local version of webpack okay now um the other cool thing here is you know, it's kind of annoying to have to build a bundle every time that you make a change, right? And it, especially when your when your code starts getting really big, um, it does take a little uh, a little while for Webpack to make that initial bundle. So what we can do is take advantage of Webpack's watch mode. Um, so basically, all you need to do to use that is to append um, dash dash watch to the command. And that goes for in here, as well as just, you know, if, if I was to run it globally as well, just like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we've appended that there. And it's basically, you know, you're, it's basically just an option you're passing to Webpack, okay? Um, we can do npm start, okay? And you see now it's running Webpack in watch mode. So instead of just building the bundle and finishing the process, you see it's hanging there. And that's because it's just, you know, sitting watching my files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refresh this page. So it says about me and says, this is a string. I'm going to go into string.js and change this is a string to this is not a string, right? I'm going to hit save. You see it, um, it noticed that a file change that's referenced by app.js. So therefore it just rebuilt the app bundle. Okay. And you can see here that it, it just replaced the string JS code, which is really awesome, okay? So now if I refresh this page, I'm gonna get about me, and this is not a string, okay? So now we're set up so that we can make changes, Webpack will recompile, or not recompile, but it'll basically um, patch up that module on the fly, which is really awesome, it's very fast, and then, um, you know, we can get the changes immediately as soon as we refresh. Um, so that's it. It's a little short one there for you. Um, you can, of course, run a whole bunch of commands um, for, you know, different processes. So like, for example, say if you wanted to, for whatever reason, keep the regular one, you could say, you could leave npm start uh, as the watch command. And then if you wanted a different one, you could say, Call, and you can call them whatever you want, right? So build, so this would just be the regular Webpack command. The only difference is if you're not using a built-in NPM script and you can you know, Google the list of those, 
um, then you have to use npm. Let me clear that out so you can see. npm run build. Okay. So if it's a built-in script like start test, you can just do npm start npm test. But if you're it's a custom name task, then you have to do you just have to put the word run in between. Okay. So that's it for this one. Um, in the next one, we are going to um, start getting into the loaders, um, which is always the fun part. And we're going to actually start using Babel to transpile our code um, into ES 2015 or from ES 2015. Cool.